Hi guys, today in this tutorial I am going to tell you about comments, HTML comments. So comments are the basic things in every language. Without comments we can't understand the code what we have written. After some years we may forget the code for what we have written. So in HTML comments are written like this by using angular bracket and explanation mark and two hyphens and some comment here and this will be closed like this this is html comment so let me go with code so if you create a p tag over here this is a paragraph and this is a paragraph is printed and before that we will write a comment that this is p tag fine so let me see the output see this is the paragraph so this is a tag is i mean it is removed from the execution so it is not executed. This is the way of writing comments in HTML. And there is one more concept called conditional comments. It is only used for Internet Explorer 8. So don't use this, but I am saying conditional comments are written like this. So if Internet Explorer 8, then execute something. So like this. So write some HTML code over here to execute. Then close the command. So you will be seeing this thing normally in the code when web pages are written so this is conditional this this is called conditional comment so see the syntax how to use that so this is basic comment we have already know and we have written one if condition if it is internet explorer right execute this code and this is up to here and it tells that it ends here so fine, this is called conditional comment. It is worked out in whole Internet Explorer, right? So it will not work in any other browser. So in next tutorial, I am going to show you how to use HTML colors. Previously, we have, you have, we have used the style tag. In style tag, we have used the red color directly, but we can, we have many other more ways. So next tutorial, I am going to tell about the colors, HTML colors, how many colors are there in HTML all this stuff so don't miss that next video is very interesting until then keep practicing